Hello and welcome everybody, I am Herbert aka the IT guy and in this video we're going to go over how to schedule a task in Linux. We already covered how to schedule a task two weeks ago in Windows, but now we're going to go over how to schedule a task in Linux. We're going to do that by using the cron tab command. Now the cron tab command is actually a built-in command and what it actually will do is it will uh, allow you to edit your cron file so or your cron tab file so if you just type in cron tab you get an error because you have to specify some options over here uh, we can define the user and we can actually def uh, define cron tab files uh, ourselves uh, but that's not what we're going to do right now we're just going to edit our own cron tab file so we're going to be logging in with the user that we want to create jobs for and we're going to just use the minus e command which is the easiest way to do so so we're just going to type in cron tab minus e and this will open up our cron tab which is this one over here so right out of the bat when we open this cron file over here when we open the cron tab file over here we see that i have already entered a line of uh, of commands over here so what i actually did is i specified the minutes the hour and then i specified this asterisk sign well actually let me open up my website over here which is crontab guru so using crontab is actually something that i like a lot because it gives you a visual representation of what you're actually going to do so let me just show you what uh, i did over here so we're just going to copy this so we have 40 13 and then three asterisk signs so let's just type that in here so we have 40 and then 13 and what this actually will do is it runs it at 1340 and what it actually will do i'll show you in a minute is it's going to run this every day of the month every month and every day of the week so these are actually the different symbols that you have to fill in so this is some some of the things that you need to know of course but you can use cron tab guru to give yourself a little bit of a reminder how to do it so let's just say we want to run something at uh 1155 right now uh, uh 155 uh, 155 pm uh so you're gonna have to take note that it's gonna be a 24 hour notation and not a 12 hour notation like the united states uses so uh yeah let's just say let's say 13 hours and 57 or let's say 58 we're gonna run we want to run a command let's just do this real quick let me close this one here so what we're going to do is we're going to specify and we're going to just use our editor over here. We're going to specify the minute that we want to run this. So I'm going to say 57. And what I'm going to do is within minute 57, I want to run uh, this command. So we're going to do touch and then we're going to write this file to our uh, user folder. So let's save that. So we so I had to do a little bit of configuration uh, in the cron tab file because I apparently I mistyped, I, I entered 57 and 50 minute of 57 had already passed. So I entered 59 and now we're at minute 59 and our file has been created. So we see file two when we go into properties, it has been created at December 22, which is right now at 1.59 and one second. So it looks like that worked out just fine. So just by using the cron tab guru website, you're going to have a much easier time configuring the cron tab file and you know once you have done uh, a couple of uh, cron tabs and you fill them in and you just remember them you can just do it by uh, it's going to be very easy for you so again also what i want to mention also is that you can just enter multiple lines here it's not limited to one so you can just enter like uh, let's just say 14 every day there we go and we want to do touch home Robert. desktop file 3 something like that and now we just wait for the uh, 14 one hour to pass and there we go file 3 has just been added to my desktop so it's as easy as that and you can run any command in this cron tab file and as you can see, it's not as difficult as it looks to be. And this is most likely the case with any type of Linux commands or any type of Linuxy thing that you want to do. You just have to learn it and it's actually often more easy than doing it on Windows. 
and uh, yeah so that's my honest opinion about that so I'm gonna leave it at that guys I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye bye